entire coral network with our own signal. Use your cyclist to locate the exact spot. hasn't occurred to you, I'm sure it will eventually. Don't do it. I can't predict what would happen if you scan the apex, but all my models point to suffering.
Dr. Yu. Morgan. I was afraid you wouldn't make it. The subject, doll, has been secured. I believe I've isolated the correct neuromod. It is essential we say as little as possible of what has happened on the station and focus on the situation. Dahl, memory serves, should resort to field training and react accordingly. He was never one to question orders. Anyone you are, Morgan. Remember, this works. Say nothing. When extracted, Dahl's memory should revert back to the inception date, and he should forget his assignment here. If you're worried about the Geneva Protocols, you have my word. I will say nothing about the perform the procedure. I am at risk as well. Straight. Commander, Dog, I am Dr. Igwe, chief physician here. You've... I've seen your face in the company directory. Alex's pet, the discredited parapsychologist. Ah. Commander Dahl, you suffered a severe head injury as a result of a crisis here on the station. We need to evacuate at once, but we... we couldn't leave without you. Are you able to pilot a shuttle? What? Yes, of course I can pilot a... Wait, what emergency? Is this Argus installation? Where's Casper? I'm afraid there's no time to explain. We need to get to the shuttle bay and prepare for departure. Transtar mandate. Doctor, you can confirm. Of course. Morgan, you look like shit. All right. Let's get Daddy's precious child off the station, or Transtar will blackbox me. Just need to check your vitals. Wouldn't want our pilot to faint. There's nothing wrong with me. Lead the way, Morgan. We'll catch up. Welcome. Dog. Maybe I can help you. I'm impressed and surprised you've managed to find a way to get remaining crew off the station. I have no doubt they'll remember your sacrifice. We'll meet you there, Morgan.
Scanning. Neural imaging shows your psychoactive potential is at or near peak level.
The dose of Morgan Cellite. Do it.
microgravity detected. Target material inconclusive. Logging calibration request. What the hell have you done? I simply acted on Morgan's orders. Nonsense. You're a machine. Look at Morgan. Your operators locked me out of the con terminal. We need to link up to the null wave device if we're gonna get that signal off before it's too late. Consider the risk. Alex's plan, if it works, is only a short-term solution. None of us has the right to endanger every life on Earth. If anyone's playing God here, it's you. Your lunatic plan denies everyone a birthright to the stars. You know how neuromods are made. The demand will only increase. In the future, Alex envisions, many will die for the benefit of a privileged few. I'm not arguing with a glorified desktop. Kill it, Morgan. Sorry, Morgan. I won't relinquish control of the terminal. You'll have to destroy me. Which means you will be destroying yourself. Fine. I'll do it myself. You made the right choice. The terminal's linked up again. It should only take a few seconds for a signal to propagate through the coral and lobotomize every Typhon on Talos 1, including the big one outside. The rest of us should get away with a mild headache. I'll let you do the honors, but you better hurry. Easy answer, a complicated one at the same time. It is the future, today. More importantly, our past, today. This is the work Transtar does, every employee working together. It's immortality, and it is beautiful.
shows to be in the middle range. It probably thinks it was dreaming and nothing mattered. 
You're assuming it thinks like us. Its life depends on it. Ours too. It all comes down to the choices it made. It saved me from the cargo container. I would have suffocated otherwise. It installed multiple Typhon-based neuromods. It could mean an instinctive return to its own kind. Or an attempt to integrate its dual natures. But its most surprising act was sparing Da. While perhaps for purely selfish reasons, this, at least in principle, enabled others to escape Dalos Y. Michaela. I died. Perhaps it could have prevented it. I don't know. Then, there was a man in psychotronics. Ingram. That was cruel. There was no other way to see it. But... Would you let it live? Yes. Sarah, you're next. The situation in the cargo bay was bad. I didn't survive, but at least he tried to help. And it destroyed a large number of Typhon across the station. That has to be a good sign. Unfortunately, it was unable or unwilling to help when Dal held us hostage. Danielle, what do you say? It found me. It didn't need to, but it did. I asked it to stop Volunteer 37. That was dangerous. No way to be sure, but I think it has a sense of retribution. A lot of humans controlled by the Typhon ended up dead. Not that it was easy to avoid, but... I think it's worth the risk. In the end, he chose to activate the Null Wave device. Why? To preserve the Typhon technology? We can't really know what its motives were for anything it did. But we had to make a choice. You can hear us, can't you? Here. I want to show you something. What you experienced was a reconstruction based on Morgan's memories. That's... is the wall of today. We spent years trying to put what you can do into us. We never tried putting what we can do into you. Until now. You're the bridge between our species. I need to know if you see us. I mean really see us. Take my hand if you do. shake things up like old times. <laughs>